Hey YouTube, this is my first video in unveiling of I think just an absolute beautiful coin. I'm a beginner stacker and I want this channel to hopefully serve as educational for those who want to start silver stacking. Um, I'm hoping the re between the research I put in along with expert stackers out there and all of your feedback that I can just be another resource for people who start on their journey of stacking. With that said, I've watched a lot of videos from other stackers which show unboxing and unpackaging, and while that's great, um, I just want to focus more time on the actual silver display and you know narrative on the history and any background information of the coin or bullion I'm sharing. Overall, I believe silver to be extremely undervalued, as I know price has been manipulated for years. I've read where big institution billionaires like J.P. Morgan are hoarding massive amounts of silver after spending years recommending against it. And I'm assuming they're preparing for the next adjustment in the economy as a hedge, and I plan on doing the same at a much, much smaller scale, obviously. I don't think silver will ever go to zero, and if anything, can't go much lower than it is. So to me, it's just a mechanism for stored value and my overall diversification. So enough about that. Um, before I go much further, uh, I know this is what all YouTubers say, but I'm learning as I go. Uh, but if you like what you see, please like, subscribe, and leave your comments as I grow this channel. Um, so let's get to it. So what I've got here is, like I said, a beautiful coin. It's a one kilo proof like 2017 Mexican Silver Libertad. I got this from Abmax and it arrived quickly and in excellent condition. Um, it comes in this beautiful display box. Um, I'm assuming it's made of pine, um, which is prevalent used wood used in Mexican furniture. Um, the box has a hinge feature which goes up and down with the opening and closing of the box. So I'll put the coin in there shortly after, after I take it off this display. Um, also is a certificate of authenticity. Um, there is a total of 500 of these produced and it looks like I have number 185 of the 500 so I believe these are extremely uh, collectible um, this coin comes in a protective cap uh, capsule I'd wanted to take it out and take a closer look but I didn't see any noticeable notches to open it so Probably best I don't open as I imagine most collectors just leave as is just to keep its value intact. I've seen other stacker videos which describe having just an overall strategy for, for silver accumulation or stacking and, and I'm trying still trying to determine the best approach. The collecting of these coins appeals to those that collect for what they call uh, numismatic value, basically depending on the value of the coins versus the spot price of silver. Um, I've also started collecting silver bars to get silver closer to the spot price rather than pay, pay a premium you'd pay for for these numismatic coins. And I'll share some of those collections in future videos. Okay, so some history of this Mexican Libertad coin. The Silver Libertad was unveiled in 1982 uh, and it underwent a distinct style change in the mid-1990s. The rear design was original to the Centenario gold coin that was minted from 1921 to 1947 to celebrate Mexico's independence from Spain. The history of the coin itself is, is relatively short, but the real history in the, is in the mint that produces it. The National Mint of Mexico, or Casa de Monedo de Mexico, hopefully I said that right, is by far the oldest minting facility in all of North and South America. It was established by Spain in 1535 and has been minting coins ever since. The Mexican Silver Series coin, sometimes called the Silver Libertad, is the official silver bullion cute of the government of Mexico. Regarded as uh, one of the most beautiful bullion co coins in the world, um, I'd have to say these are easily the most demanded silver coins produced in Mexico and are one of the most popular in the Western Hemisphere. Um, 
The Libertard, uh, they, they were, were, were introduced in 1982, as I mentioned, when just over one million of the one ounce coins were released. Um, there's been several varieties that have been produced through the years, um, but beginning in 1996, the two ounce and five ounce varieties of these Libertards were released. And um, I'll be sharing videos of those uh, sizes as I plan on collecting the entire set. Um, as far as some of the physical characteristics of the coin, the front or obverse side of this coin features the image of a winged angel, which relates to a tragic love tale in Mexican folklore. The angel is considered a monument to the people of Mexico and one of the symbols of Mexico. Um, it's part of their rich history. Um, the, the coin's weight denomination is so shown on the on this this side, along with the words "plata pura," the fineness point nine nine nine, in the year of mintage. Um, both volcanoes are d themselves part of Mexico's rich history, according to the folktale Popa Catapedi, the great warrior of pre-Columbian Mexican le legends. Uh, was the lover of Ista Chekahuati, herself the daughter of a king. Ista Chekahuati died upon Lover's Peak when she believed Popa Chetapeti to have been killed in battle. Few coins pack so much history and symbolism into their design as this Mexican libertad. The rear or reverse of this coin includes the Mexican national seal with an eagle perched atop a cactus, killing a serpent with its beak. The words Estados Unidos Mexicanos appear on a wreath that circles the eagle. Since 2000, the Mexican national seal is surrounded by 10 distinct heraldic designs placed across the perimeter. You know, I just looking at this coin is beautiful, as I mentioned, and I know I keep saying that, but there is quite simply no better world bullion queued from a long-term value perspective than the Mexican Silver Libertad, uh, in the opinion of the coin analyst. Um, it's a lot of coin analysts. They have by far the lowest mintage year after year of any major world bullion queue, queue, uh, coin. They sport a gorgeous auburn design of a bare-breasted winged depiction of Victoria, the Mexican goddess of independence. As I mentioned, the Angel of Liberty. Um, a certain amount of mystery or mystique surrounds this series, and it allows um, or it adds to its allure for collectors. That's largely because, unlike other wool bullion or collector coins, there are no um, pre announced mintage limits for these coins. What distinguishes uh, these coins from most other wool, wool bullion cubes? is they're just more than just for stacking precious metals, they're collectible um, coins in their own right. Because there are few, so few in owners that are aware of this fact, the coins take on numismatic allure and prices increase relatively quickly. Um, you know, I've seen other years, previous years of this, this coin, this is a 2017, uh, but going back a uh, decade or so, their values have, have increased quite a bit that I've seen. Um, as I mentioned, there's no other world mint that has used uh, these coins in such low numbers. According to Don Bailey, you know, a leading American expert, the, some of the research I found on Mexican coins, a lot of Libertad's silver and gold remain highly undervalued and, and there's just a tremendous long-term potential for the informed buyer of these coins. So that's basically it. Again, I just wanted to share this uh, coin. It's it's uh, you know at one kilo. That's that's I believe over 35 ounces or so. Um, but you can see it's just a beautiful, massive, uh, heavy coin. Um, comes in this beautiful display box. Uh, so when you set it in, it's basically hinged. And you know, seals seals that way. So, thank you everyone for watching. Again, please uh, provide your like, comments, any feedback you have, and thanks for watching.